happening today. Grand Central's new Long Island Railroad Terminal will finally open after years of delays. It's expected to be a game changer for commuters who will now have direct access to the east side of Manhattan. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook live from Jamaica Station in Queens, where that first train will be departing this morning. Elijah. That's correct. Good morning, Chris and Mary. 10.45 a.m. Keep that time in mind. That is when the very first Long Island Railroad train will depart Jamaica Station here, bound for Grand Central Madison. Now, we're hearing it'll only take about 22 minutes to get there. So talk about, as you mentioned, a game changer and now providing access to a side of the city that Long Island Railroad customers didn't have before. After more than two decades and $11 billion spent, the east side is ready to welcome thousands of Long Island Railroad customers. The new space deemed Grand Central Madison is a massive new 700,000 square foot terminal located under Madison Avenue between 43rd and 48th Streets and below Metro North's more than century old Grand Central Terminal. According to the MTA, getting trains to this location is the capstone of several infrastructure projects. Projects. That's what this project is about. It's about more service. It's about more options. It's about better connections, more time for people in their busy lives. What is the best thing we can give people? And for many families, it's their time. If we can shave 40 minutes off their travel time every day. The MTA says for at least three weeks, the LIRR will operate limited shuttle service between Jamaica and the new terminal so that customers can acquaint themselves with the space. We're being told trains will operate between 6.15 a.m. and 8 p.m. on weekdays and from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. on weekends. Trains are expected to run every 30 minutes in both directions during the weekday and once an hour on the weekends. The new service is, well, coming with some pushback from some groups who say they're concerned about overcrowding and that the new service doesn't fully address the needs of people who rely on subways and buses. And, well, despite those concerns, again, that very first train out of Jamaica will be at 1045 this morning. We're hearing that Governor Kathy Hochul will be among one of the first riders on that inaugural run. Live right now in Jamaica, Queens, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.